Yes, Tinimbu judgment secrets revealed. Tribunal judges exposed. Pito B reacts. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bola Tinimbu felt he can run away with the atrocities he condoled with the five-man panel of court led by Justice Arona on the 6th September 2023. That judgment was filled with a judgment without evidences. And now, Bola Metinimbu secret has been exposed. Alongside with the judges, they have all been exposed. You see, there is nothing hidden under the surface of the earth that will not be revealed on a special day. It will only take time. Bola Metinimbu felt he has run away or he has connived and bought the minds of the judges. That is the reason why they gave judgment without looking at the evidences that was brought before them. Only for them to start quoting constitution that everyone is stating. How then did they get to the conglomeration of stating that Bola Metinimbu did not for Chicago State University records? How then did they now state that after 10 years, you are no longer eligible to be indicted for forgery? How then did they now state that it was not intentional for Kashim Shetima not to have gotten a dual nomination? This is regrettably how the judges felt so loyal to Bola Metinimbu. Now, guys, look at this particular document. At the course of this video, we are going to also show you the reply from P2B and his quest to make sure justice prevails in the electoral system of this particular country. Look at this document in your screen. This is the CTC document that P2B's lawyers are about filing to Supreme Court. But it is so, so unbelievable that at the touch of this particular document, it is now stated that Bola Metinimbu had this copy before it was released to other political parties' legal team. Look at it, Tinimbu's presidential legal team. What is Tinimbu presidential legal team doing on the hedge of the CTC papers? No wonder a lot of persons were reacting on that judgment day that the five-man panel of court led by Tisman Haruna, that they were reading those judgments papers as though they were not the one that drafted it. It is very clear that this is the judgment they used on that particular day. And it is now obvious that this judgment was even drafted by Bola Metinimbu's lawyers. They have now exposed them. The question is, let Bola Metinimbu and his lawyers come and explain what Tinimbu presidential legal team, TP, LUT, log logo and inscription is doing on the CTC papers that P2B are about filing to Supreme Court. They have no defense, only for them to start explaining that it is a watermark. The Tinimbu presidential legal team has tried to clarify the controversies over its watermarked copies of the presidential election petition tribunal judgment papers. He stated that the watermarked copies has striked up debate on social media. Yes, it has striked up because a lot of persons are stating, if you are not stating that this document was your own copy of the document, how then did you get this copy of the document? And why is it that other political parties and their legal team are not having their own enshrined on this document? In response, Bola Metinimbu, they stated that the TPLUT coordinator, Bim Babatunde Ogala explained in no defense over this particular exposed document, only for them to state that they watermarked their copy of the judgment after collection from the Court of Appeal before circulating the scanned copies to members of their team. The statement reads, after the delivery of judgment in the three election petitions by the Court of Appeal on the, 6th, on the September 6, 2023, the Court directed its registry to make physical copies of same available to other parties. According to Tinimbu presidential legal team, they applied for these copies and they were the one that enshrined this Tinimbu presidential legal team, TPLUT, on their own copy before it got circulated. The question is, why then did this, this copy of this CTC document go to Bola Metinimbu's legal team before other political parties and their legal team's lawyers? Why then did, was it was this copy given to Bola Metinimbu before it, it got to the, the reach of others? This is where it show, it now showed that they, they deliberately drafted these judgment papers for the judges to read. Now the judgment has now been exposed. 
that judgment is not really working with the constitution of this country. It's not really working with the fact that the Independent National Electoral Commission ought to have transmitted the results electronically as agreed by the electoral acts of this country. Only for this judgment to be truncated because it was drafted single-handedly by Tinimbu presidential legal team. Now they have been exposed. Well, Pitobi has reacted and he has stated that he must approach the Supreme Court because the presidential election petition tribunal is not the end means of this particular case. If Bola Metinimbu is now using groups and other persons to come and plead to P2B, this is a failed mission for them because the mandate of P2B must be reclaimed and nothing is going to stop that particular mandate. Well, let me leave you guys with the reaction that has come from P2B and how he has assured obedience on the move to make sure that this mandate is reclaimed. We the views and ruling of the court, but we disagree with the court's reason and conclusions in the judgment it delivered. Okay. It is my intention as the presidential candidate and the intention of Labour Party to challenge this judgment by way of appeal immediately as allowed by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The PEPC has rendered its judgment, but that esteemed body is not the final arbiter. The responsibility now falls on the Supreme Court. I do know that the judgment is not contaminous with justice. I employ Nigerians to remain focused, steadfast, and peaceful, and to abide by the rule of law and understand this matter has not reached its logical conclusion. Our legal team has already received a firm instruction to file an appeal against the decision. I shall not relent in quest for justice, not necessarily for myself, but for indeed for our teaming supporters all over Nigeria. 